right? And these girls are like, we're going to like make you normal. <laughs> Which they lucky did. But I was like, fuck off my dick, bro. And then they're like, all right, we'll take this picture for like the beginning of the transformation. So I'm sitting there like in this blue collar. I'm like, fuck off my dick, dog. <laughs> normal yeah like not a fucking unbearable asshole he said american eagle no no no, 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 no. y'all are making this into what it's not i was a weird fucking kid i made bird noises in the back of the class i was enjoying a fucking ice cold crispy coca-cola while playing flappy bird i think i I like debated my history teacher (laughs) and prom too Yes, I have my. <laughs> like, hey, turn around. I have my fucking uh, Letterman on, so it's obvious that I go to the other school. I go to Hickory, right? And I fucking get into. I walk into the restroom. It's this hick ass school. I don't even remember its name. It's so fucking small. I get into the restroom, and they got their hick ass little middle schoolers, and they're looking at me, and they're like, "He goes to Hickory. He goes to Hickory." They're like, "Should we do it? Should we jump?" I'm like. Oh, fuck away. What? Is all your pissing, bro, just turn around and piss on them. I was like, what the fuck? These cats are like 11. <laughs> it's a little too early to be starting this shit in life. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Obviously, they fucked off. They didn't do it because they're middle schoolers. But nonetheless, I'd be like, Miss Linda, I don't think she likes me. And Miss Linda would be like, hmm, I wonder why. I'm like, hi, right, bro. Like, you know you in a position of a teacher. You're supposed to like lie to me about things like this. You're supposed to be like that's not true. <laughs> like I yeah, just show up, sure, I showed up sure. from tennis late. She like, ooh, you're gonna get in trouble today. I was like, damn, bro. Like you won't gotta say it. Like <laughs> you could just let me find <laughs> out on my own. Like, <laughs> right. Oh, man. <laughs> I think one. Time, I remember the uh... one time I like lost this, oh, little, can... this little part of this costume. I was like, I was like, I think someone took it. And Miss Lindsay's like, why are you just why are you lying? Like, <laughs> you know you lost it. Like, <laughs> you're not convincing anyone. I'm like, bruh, like, what is this? Why are you not like any other teacher? Like, why can't you just do this? Like, you're too straightforward about it. You're, I had a I had a teacher once say to me, if I could punch one student, it'd be you. I was like, bruh, there's no <laughs> way that's a legal sentence. There's no yeah, director was were cool and like a little bit like I I'd say like like almost on some not like homie shit, but like, you know, whatever. Right. Cause I was a senior when I joined sure. the band. So it was like, whatever. Uh, like we mm. would show up to band late and we would bring him a sweet tea and it'd be cool as shit. So one time we're at like a band parade and I'm in the front. And, uh, uh, so like, I'm not supposed to be there. That's where the majorettes are. Right. But I'm spitting game. Right. That's what I'm trying to do. So the band director <laughs> walks up to me and he's like, Ilya, get in line. I'm like, one second, like, uh, I'm not going to say his name. I'm just calling him Mr. Smith. I'm going to be like, one second, Mr. Smith. Uh, I'll be right there in a second, bro. And he was like, they're repulsed by you. And I was like, oh, my God, dog. <laughs> like, holy shit. Like, he was joking, but it was, like, enough to get me to fuck off. And I was like, bro. These cats were treating me like a zoo animal. I show up the first day, and they're like, oh, my God, he's Russian. There was some other Russian motherfucker at the school, this senior cat. And, uh... They were like, let's get him to talk to each other. We show up to my English class and my, my English teacher is like, oh, we have a guest for you, Ilya. Like, here's Daniel. Like, he comes from his class to talk to me in Russian. And I was like, motherfucker. So I just get up there at the front of the room and she was like, all right, why don't you all just like strike up a conversation? And I just like, I was like, all right. And he's like, hello, in Russian. I was like, wait, these motherfuckers can't understand me. I'm like, go fuck yourself. I'm not going to talk to you, you fucking piece of shit. You just skip class to fucking treat me like a zoo animal. I'm saying all of this in like <laughs> Russian. And then Miss McElroy is like, what is he saying? He's like, oh, he's asking me about my day. He's like, I lost my assignment book. Can I use yours to go to the restroom? I was like, sure thing. He goes to the restroom. He comes back. No assignment book in his hand. He was like, oh, I pissed on it. What? <laughs> what? He was like, yeah, it kind of fell in the toilet. So I wasn't going to take it out. So I just kind of pissed on it. Like, this got to be some like initiation shit. Like he probably left it on the counter or some bullshit. So I go into the restroom, open up the stall. Literally there. Ilya Kulik fucking pissed on. Like, 
golden brown fucking bro drinking no water, putrid ass piss all over my fucking assignment book. And you know what? I know that he threw it in there after he pissed on it because it was on top of the – like it didn't sink. It was on top of shit. Like it, like mm. it didn't get pissed on in the moment. Man, it's the first day. And I got my assignment book pissed. And I'm like, Ilya. She's like, you're not on my roster. She's like, we give out names at the beginning of class, but I only have one name left. She's like, all right, your name is Surge. Everyone had normal names. I was stuck with Surge for the next four years. In my biology class, I walk in. I was like, yeah, I'm, I was on no one's roster. I swear to God, they didn't sign me up for a single class. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm new here. She was like, I don't have a seat for you. I was like, what? She was like, I ran out of desk space. Like, it's overcrowded. I was like, bruh. She put me in the back right in, like, the menace seat. Like, you know when, like, motherfuckers get kicked out of class and they got to, like, not even kicked out of class, but then you put them in the back right, like, on some dunce shit? I was saying back there, I felt like a felon the first day. So I was like, all right, I'm going to act up so that that way I'm deserving of this seat. So I was pretty problematic in that class. I was like, what bus number am I at the end of the day? She was like, you're bus number 12. I was bus number seven. I get on bus number 12. This shit takes me to the middle of bumfuck nowhere in the cornfields because it's fucking Western Pennsylvania. She was like, where do you live? I said the street. She looked at me like that shit is like 30 minutes away. I get back to the school. The vice principal is like, what's wrong? I was like, they put me on the wrong bus. They're like, oh yeah, I'm sure that my administration would make that mistake. Like, all right, I'll get you all. But next time, just be honest. I was like, what the fuck are you talking? Like, I wanted to fight, bro. They put me on this bus with elementary schoolers. That was the only option left because by now it was 5 fucking p.m. Was, I'm in the back. I'm getting roasted by fifth graders that just found out how to cuss. Oh, bro, they're like, look at this dumbass. He's on the wrong bus. He's grown as hell and he's on a bus with fifth graders. I bet his back will got cards or ass. Comedy sitcom shit. I'm staring out the window watching the cornfields and they're clowning on me. Like, he's got fake vans on. He's 14 and he can't even afford real fans. And he's on the wrong bus. It's 6 p.m. Don't you got some grown dinner to go to? I'm there like. Dude, I get home, my mom was when like, I tell you. Hey, I'm like, well, considering I'm fucking three hours late, how do you think it went? <laughs>